Yes, sir. Hello, everyone. Roger Hay right here. We're going to do a little bit of things on guitar that maybe you don't know. And uh, if you do, well, that's great. It's still good for you. Uh, the fabulous Andy Wood, who is a uh, just a phenomenal guitarist, posted a piece. He was uh, playing on tour somewhere, and he was having one of those quiet moments waiting to get on the travel back to home. And he was uh, playing a uh, piece on his guitar uh, just with his little practice amp and this kind of stuff. But he <clears throat> made it uh, as a dedication to uh, his uh, uh, grandfather who had passed away, who was one that taught him how to, you know, or was one of the main influences on teaching him how to play and this kind of stuff. But he did this amazing chord that I think you should know about. We do a lot of sus uh, chords, suspended chords, suspending the three in favor of the two or the four. And he did this great shape of this chord. And I am not Andy Wood, so I will not sound like him. <laughs> a magnificent chord in a couple of ways. This chord allows you to perform a B chord, right, with A definitions. This great sound out of it where you get a lot of people call it Lydian or something you get this sharp four feel out of it so let me show you what is going on on that chord if you're used to making a B chord we're actually in the key of E by the way E is your one chord we're all majors in this case A is your four chord and B is your five chord so you could have this uh, uh, wonderful uh, arrangement going right here where you play what if you notice what is normally a B chord if you wanted to like a B sus suspended seven or B sus chord then you get this note in here in it right one do re mi fa right one two three your four note in favor of the three note gives you a suspended sound right a sus four as people would call it right so that particular note right there but what's really neat is this note down here is your flat seven. So get enough. A flat seven with a suspended four in it. This is a neat thing to do when you can get the, the four and the flat seven. And look at this right here. For a B out of this A chord shape, because if you notice, and we know triads make an entire chord, right? So these notes right here, that's a B, right? That would be the one, the three, and the five of a B chord. Right there, and if you're holding the four and the flat seven, right? Then you've got a flat seven. And if you add this note, that's the four. And this note is the two. So you can go from suspended second to two. And you can even go right to your. You see how that makes a really, really pretty chord. Uh, I was thinking about it in a little bit different way than Andy did. Andy's a furiously amazing guitar player. He's putting all these great chords together, which, you know, I didn't really get, uh, sit down and, and break out, but they were amazing. But I got to thinking about this in this particular form is if we move this chord that he was doing and we put it up here and made it an E chord. And you can see from this shape, I'm holding the E triad. If you made this E bar chord before, then you know that's an E triad right there, right? And if you take it and get this part, right here, right, of a D chord, right, you could have an E, right, D, and A, A, D, and E, right, A, D, and E, or your one, four, five, and A, right, that would be an A major seven right there, and this chord right here, so you can actually put things influenced from D, this E chord, and you 
can see that. There's your two, there's your three, right? If you're in E, there's your three. So this is your two. You get that as a sus seven suspended second, seven suspended four. But what this gives you is if you have a E, D, A, right? E, D in your A chord. Then you have your E, your D, and your A as open notes in which you can play things with. So if you had something. And you can even let your D note ring open. Or your E note ring open. So if you had such a backing track uh, where you had like an E, except we included the D. See this right here? So you got the D, which is the flat seven of the E, right? Had it and an A. Right? things going up and down the core the uh, fretboard so I'm gonna do just a little bit of that and see what you think be a great thing for you to incorporate into your playing in different ways but also a great way to compose something unusual and something fun Concept where you can perform uh, along with some open strings and play instead of straight playing the straight, you know, D over that, which could work. You put you could incorporate things from A in there. So over that E slash type sound, which would be akin to D, you'd have this note in there. So it'd be pretty cool. Just thought you might find that interesting. Uh, hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you soon.